So, welcome to today's video on Alexa Lake Golf. You see me in the trees. Now, a lot of you watching this video will think, well, this is a place I am quite a lot. Now, if we're always in these trees, do you think it might be a good idea to find out a really simple technique to hit that low punch shot out the trees to get it in a good position to then for, therefore have a chance of saving par or net par? Now, hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on Alex Ellie Golf. You're at a channel that's gonna help you raise your game to the next level. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well as answering this question below. So I've got a question for you. How many times in a round does going in the trees cost you? And then, how many times do we fail to get out the trees first time? Give me a comment down below. I'd love to know what's actually happening in your game. So today's video is gonna talk about a simple technique that's gonna help you get out the trees every single time. And don't forget this technique of the low punch shot can actually be used in the fairway, into wind. So it's definitely a shot that's more for just getting us out of trouble, but it's also a shot we can use from the fairway as well. I'm gonna run you through a simple setup and the feelings I want you to obtain through the stroke. Let's get straight into today's video. So this is what shot's facing me. My golf ball's down here. I'm looking to hit a punch shot through this gap, out the trees, and getting it back into play. So ultimately get me in a position that's gonna allow me to have a chance to hit the green with my third, whether that be to make a net par or an actual par itself, depending on the level of player. But ultimately, whatever level player we are, we need a shot that's gonna get us out of play, onto the fairway, and put us into position to hit the green with our next shot. So how do we do that? So my go-to club in the trees, I like to use my six iron. Now I use this for two reasons. One, because I feel like it's easier to get it low, but also if I've got some rough ground to go over, I feel I can get it in the air enough to get it over the rough ground and get it out into play. I really feel from the situation for a low punch out the trees, it's a very, very versatile club to use. There may be situations where we use a little bit more loft or tend to use a little bit less loft. So for example, five iron or four iron, but I really feel the six iron is a really good place to be for in a situation where we can manipulate the loft a little bit easier. So if we're gonna hit the low punch shot, we need to be able to control the angle of attack and the loft the club has at impact, so the dynamic loft. So I want you to think of this as a vector. We've got the angle of attack as one, and the loft of the golf club. If we can move them both in tandem, so hit down on the golf ball more, and reduce the loft of the golf club, we're gonna get into a position where we're gonna lower the launch angle. Now, if we lower the launch angle and put a little bit less speed into this shot, we're then gonna get in a situation where we're going to be able to hit a low punch shot. So how do we control those factors? There are a few things Things we can do in the setup and then feelings in the golf swing to do so. Point number one, I like to take a stance that is just wide of a shoulder width apart, so a narrower stance than what I'd usually use. At the minute, I really want you to feel as though you keep the shoulders and hips and knees parallel to your ball to target line. The final point which we'll talk about and show you from down the line is what I want you to do in the final stage of the setup. I then want you to place the ball towards the back of your stance. So this is gonna help us hit down on this golf ball a little bit more. So again, hitting down and reducing the angle of attack. But then also, by putting the ball back in our stance, you can see how much more forward shaft lean I produce. So producing more forward shaft lean at address will reduce the loft of the golf club that it has at address, and therefore more likely to reduce the golf club's loft at impact, lowering that launch angle. So just by simply moving that ball back in the stance, placing the hands a little bit further forward as a result as well, is getting us into a position where we're really starting to manipulate these impact factors. Now we've got the ball back and hands a little bit further forward, I like to feel as I've got a little bit more weight on my left side than I do my right. If I use a round number of 70-30 on my left side, this may change depending on how low I want this ball to go, and that's something I want you to go into the trees and play around with. I really think it's a good game to do where, for example, I put myself in a situation situation where I came in the trees on the right of 14 here at Stockport, am I good enough to get it out, get it on the green? And test yourself, how often can you do that? So we've got a stance that's just in a shoulder width apart, we've then got the weight on the left hand side and we've got the ball back in our stance. We've got the impact factors that are address controlled here, we've got the ball hitting down on it more, we're reducing the loft of the golf club, so therefore reducing the launch. What can we do to manipulate the length of the swing? 
So I then like to grip down on this golf club a little bit more. So I'm getting closer towards the steel on my golf club than I am the butt end. So I like to grip down on this golf club more. This may require you to shuffle a little bit closer. And then during the swing, I like to feel that my weight stays on the left and that I make a swing, which is a three quarter swing. Now, if I'm only punching this out, say 20, 30 yards in the air and allow it to roll out, this position may look more like halfway back, halfway through, because I don't need as much speed. And again, going into situations where this is trying to manipulate impact factors, I really would encourage you to do this and go and practice this, because if you can start to manipulate and understand how to get out of the trees, when we have to manipulate it against the wind or manipulate it against certain conditions, that's really gonna give us some good ingredients and some good memories and the fact that we've already done it. So we've got an hour of stance, we've got the ball back, the weight on the left hand side, we're gripping down on this golf club more, shortening that lever, reducing the club head speed, and now we need to match the length of the swing again to reduce the club head speed. So for a punch shot like this, I would really look to take it just short of three quarters back and match that on the way through and really hold that punchy finish. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one and then show you from down the line what I meant by the final point. So let's punch this one out the trees and get it back into the fair way. Like that. So you can see there, there wasn't a brisk and fast movement. It was a nice smooth acceleration into the back of the golf ball. Let's show you now from down the line the last factor that I want you to change because we've moved the ball position back. Now, the final point, because we move this ball back in our stance and we're hitting down this golf ball more, this is going to encourage us to hit a little bit out to the right. And all I want you to treat this as, as a, a term of deplaying. The more we hit down on this golf ball, the more likely our path is going to travel to the right. So what I want you to make a counter act in balance of this is feeling like now we take our setup, so a narrower stance, ball back in our stance, we're on the left hand side, reducing the length of the lever, and I want you to pull your left foot back slightly because this is going to help us swing a little bit more left in our direction because that's going to help us marry up our bike wheel. If we're hitting more down on the golf ball, this is going to encourage us to hit out to the right. So we need to counteract that by opening up our left foot and feel like we're swinging down the golf ball, but swinging a little bit left of target. So if I hit this one away here now, I always think of this as a small compensation hitting so much down on the golf ball. Chipping it out there, back onto the fairway, back into a situation where I've now got a chance to hit the green. So there you go, let's summarize today's video and a really simple summary in this. Firstly, we need to know that we need to control our impact factors, hitting down on this golf ball more and reducing this loft of the golf club. That's going to get us in a situation where we're starting to control the factor, impact factors and then we can start to control the golf ball. How do we do that? We firstly took a narrow stance, placed the ball back in our stance, put our weight a little bit more on our left side and this increased the forward shaft lean of our club and address, which reduced the loft. So moving the ball back, let us hit down on it more, the hands ahead and weight ahead help us achieve a little bit more forward shaft lean. The next point we talked about was really trying to feel that like we shorten the lever to control the club head speed. And now from this situation, we want to feel that we make a three quarter back, three quarter through, and really control the speed of that golf club. You could understand the more speed, the potential for more spin. So reduce speed, less spin, less chance of this ball launching up into the air. So we've now got a situation where I managed to get it out of the trees and get it back on the fairway, giving me a really good chance of now hitting the green and saving my par. So let's hit this one onto the green and see if we've got a chance. Looks pretty good, nice shot. But ultimately, today's video is all about you being able to hit that low punch shot out of the trees, but really seeing that shot as another shot you could use in the fairway as well, and really something you can add to your armory, add to your game toolbox, and give you a good selection of shots in the wind, in situations that are gonna get you out of trouble and help you keep your score going. I really feel if we got situations on the golf course where we can get it out the trees, onto the green, and still make net two points, that's really gonna give us some confidence 
confidence, keep our momentum in our round, and ultimately stop us wrecking our card, leading to better golf. So, thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. You've got the steps you need to hit the low punch shot out the trees. Really simple guide for you to follow and really adopt and help you get out of trouble, make better scores, and ultimately stop wrecking your card. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.